Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I want to start off just as he would. By first giving thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then by giving thanks to all of you for coming out for this momentous occasion. I have in my hand some money. Would any of you like this money? <laughs> Stand up, please. Now, will you hold it up to the audience, please? No, no like, unfold it up. <laughs> hold it up so everyone can see it. What is this? Half a dollar. Do you still want this money? Why not? <laughs> so, it's no good, is it? You know why it's no good? Because it's not a hole. <laughs> How important is it that things be whole and complete? I just showed you. Think about this. If someone walked or attempted to walk in the building right now with half of an outfit on, they would not be allowed in the building because their wardrobe wasn't complete and they would be deemed as inappropriate and maybe even prosecuted for indecent exposure. Mm -hmm. Why? Because wholeness is necessary. What's my point? According to the freedictionary.com, unity is defined as one, an undivided or unbroken completeness or totality with nothing wanting, two, the number or numeral one, and three, wholeness. Unity is defined as wholeness. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a vision that we, the United States of America, as a nation, would be whole. His vision was that people who had been mistreated would one day have the same rights and privileges as those who were not mistreated. He was able to see further than most of America at that time. And although it is a lonely feeling to be the only one with a panoramic view, he continued to point out what he was looking at to those with a limited view, even to the day of his death. One thing remains, just because the vessel has passed on does not mean that the vision died with him. In the letter from a Birmingham jail, Dr. King likened himself to the prophets of times past who were anointed to prophesy a word from the Lord. 